low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go. go. BHB did a short live stream on August 16th, 2023. Let's take a look. Well, today, it's all Olivia's fault. She's magnetic, she's electric, yes. she's electrifying. So she decides to plug in her, her power charger, well, my power charger, in the back power. Well, apparently my power charger must have had a short in it. Uh, it is, you know, over 20 years old. And we, we, look, we go to plug in the phones, the power for everything, and guess what? We had no power. I mean, we have power for the car, we have power to drive, but as far as charging our phones and charging, you know, having our laptops and being able to work, you know, while we're driving down the road, that, that was all hindered. I pull out the big battery. I, with the big battery that I use on my tripods when I'm out in the field and I go live, that big battery, we, I'm like, okay, no big deal. We got the big battery. Just pull the battery out. Let's just stick the stuff in there. I said, at least we'll have some charging going on and, and, and I'll figure it out. Once we get where we're going, I'll figure out what's wrong with this. It can't be anything but a fuse. We just have, we just watch. We have power of this. The ring was blue. We plug that thing in and all of a sudden we have nothing. Or the cigarette lighters. That's where we plug get our power for all of our phones and equipment. And I've got two of them in the car. And so we stop. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, it's one, it's one of a few things. It's either both of our tra phone chargers that plug into these cigarette things just miraculously, unintentionally went out at the same time, or we have a fuse issue. I don't have time for these things. So what do we do? We go into Pilot, and we spend like $70 for a testing light, for fuses, for, I mean, while I was trying to check the fuses under the thing, I lose the little fuse holder, you know, that goes into the fuse the, the fuse cover and actually sticks in there. Well, naturally, as soon as I unhook it, because I'm a step on there, and I'm, I'm yanking to try to pull it off, and it slips out of my hand and falls into the engine. I can see where it's at. It won't, I, I try to get my screwdriver down there to push it to the ground so when I back up, I can pick it up and that thing wouldn't budge. It's somewhere under the hood and it ain't going nowhere. Maybe now it has, right? So we got all this new stuff and we plug it in. It didn't work. So now we're like, okay, it's the fuse. We're looking all over the fuse box under the, um, the hood because everything that we're reading all the way here says to look under the hood, the main power uh, fuse box is there. So we stop at pilot, we get all the fuses, we get the fuse, uh, we get the fuse uh, tool, because I got the mini fuses. We get the, path, the the tester light, which doesn't work unless it's actually touching the metal. So the guy that told me to go in there and get the testing light didn't know what the hell he was talking about. But $7.99, I'm sure it'll come in handy somewhere, you know. I'm, I have, I'm a homeowner. We can use stuff that, that that's lines to see if they have current rooms. I'm sure I can use it, no big deal. Get out here, we search, we search. I'm looking at the thing, I can't figure out which fuse goes to the stupid light. Olivia's on here. Olivia doesn't know what she's doing. Poor girl thinking, you know, God bless her. She's trying her best. She doesn't know what the F she's doing. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what the F I do, right? But I know it's gotta be a fuse. That I got enough experience to know that it's a fuse in this yeah. car that needs to be re replaced. We can't find a damn fuse. So finally, at, at stop two, now we've gone several hours. This is our first official stop for gasoline. And I'm like, I'm, I'm getting this damn power problem fixed. It's a fuse, I've got fuses, I've got the fuse thing, I've got the tester. Damn it, these, we're gonna be charging. I'm not leaving this damn, <laughs> this gas station until this car starts charging. Screw it. Olivia thought of a brainiac idea, it was, it was fabulous. She just pull out all the fuses, start pulling out the fuses and checking them one by one. All right. I knew that there was a fuse box in this car, inside this car, actually on the passenger side. But nothing we had read or seen told us to go to the inside. They were all referring us to the outside. So I pop the, the, the one on the inside and I start reading down and there it is. There's the fuse I've been looking for. There's the fuse I've been searching. And I pull it out and it was like, oh, we got the fuse. We got the right fuse. Guess what? We plug the fuse in. I'm charging, baby. I'm charging. That just made my day. And so we were thinking, I said, you know what, Olivia, why did this happen? Like literally yep. we, everything was working when we were in the driveway. Literally by the time we were back out of the driveway and into my roadway, we had no charging capabilities. Just that quickly, that fuse went out. And so we had been driving four and a half, five yeah, hours, five. five hours. And we finally got power back into where we could charge our stuff. And Olivia, our sweet dear Olivia, found, found well, she, she directed me to, to find the fuse. From a YouTube video. From a YouTube video. They make a video. I always tell you guys, you guys got a problem? You need to fix your washer? You need to fix your dryer? You need to fix your dishwasher? They make a YouTube video for that. Save yourself hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Do you know I fixed a truck that was going to cost me over $2,000 to fix? It truly was. It had a water pump issue. It had a radiator issue. God, it had several issues. I got a tool. You know, I was able to pay. I was able to uh, fix that truck, tear the whole front end off, put a radiator in it, put a thermostat in it, put a water pump in it, put a new radiator in it. I was able to do all that for under five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars and one day of work. I saved myself two thousand dollars. They make a YouTube for that. And guess what? I just saved myself at least a couple hundred dollars over this fuse. Because we went to a mechanic. The mechanic would have charged us to find the fuse. So then you're not walking out of a mechanic's office with a sixty dollar bill. Let's be honest. So we fixed our car with a fuse. <laughs> Took us two women an hour and $62 later. But with that $62, we have an extra two port charger for the front and an awesome, amazing converter with a plug, a C port, and a USB for the back. So we're rocking it out and we got power. And the reason why I think that happened is because mom and, and Olivia traveled a lot. She knew absolutely nothing. We just taught her something. Mom's yes. car is going to have a fuse that's blown. Watch, I guarantee you, in the next six months, she's going to be able to mm -hmm. There's right. a silver lining. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh no, reconnecting. In my opinion, the entire point of this live stream 
is to tell people how much money Betty spent to fix a $4 fuse so she could drop her pay links and dry bag for donations. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments section below.